Well, hello there and welcome. This is a tutorial for this three wide quadruple speed shulker box loader. By quadruple speed, I mean that it is four times faster than standard hopper speed. It is capable of handling 36,000 items per hour, just under 21 shulker boxes per hour. A standard one speed shulker box loader would fill just over five shulker boxes per hour. So this does require four hoppers in order to feed it. So we put some fancy netherite blocks into this. It will start loading up and we will be able to see that it is filling up the shulker box very, very quickly. If you come down here, we can actually look at it. You can see that is four times standard hopper speed. Very quickly, it's filling it up. There's a few safety mechanisms built into the system. One of the pet peeves of mine with dropper based shulker box loaders is that when they run out of shulker boxes, it will just continue to dispense items even though there's no shulker box to catch it. So I've added this mechanism here that checks this dispenser right here and if there are no shulker boxes in it, it will stop operating the whole machine. That does mean it will not fill the last shulker box, but I think that's a pretty decent compromise. You could, if you didn't like this mechanism, you could take out this comparator and torch and block, and you wouldn't have that safety mechanism anymore if you knew it was never gonna run out, or you just didn't care, you could do that. The other safety mechanism is that if this chest ever fills up, and then it fills up into this hopper right here, then it'll stop running then as well. And that is because if you break this again, then the shulker will land on a slab and it will eventually despawn. So you don't want that to continue dispensing shulker boxes and filling them up when they're just gonna despawn. So it's got a safety mechanism that actually locks the observer clock whenever all of this is full. Now, if you're using a 4X loader like this, you're probably gonna pipe these items out somewhere else and not just have a simple chest underneath it, but the safety mechanism is there nonetheless. While the shulker box loader is three wide tileable, in most cases, you will actually need four sorters or hopper streams in order to feed it. So the fact that it's three wide tileable won't end up mattering that much because it's gonna have to be four wide anyways. If you do use it in this configuration, you don't actually need these target blocks down here. You could replace those with a block underneath it and a redstone. The target block is required to make it tileable, but if you're doing it in a non-tiled situation, you don't actually need it. I'm gonna put those back for the world download, but just note that they may not be required if you're not tiling it. Now there are a few other configurations that I found that don't work of trying to make it three wide. So this one right here is if you used a double speed sorter, two double speed sorters. It's actually a little bit smaller because the sorters can actually straddle the machine a little bit. So it's not quite as tall, but I found, especially with a water stream, this is not able to keep up. You will hit hopper cooldowns and filled hoppers super duper often, and you may actually end up needing more loaders in this configuration than you would in this configuration and you might not end up saving space at all or even up using up more space. I found this configuration, especially with water streams, does not work. I do not recommend it. And you can try a hybrid as well where you've got a double speed sorter in the middle and two single speed sorters on the side. And this also does not exactly keep up. I found that this is probably closer to like three and a half speed or something like that. So if you didn't need force, full forward X speed, you could try this configuration. I, I don't exactly recommend it, but it is a little bit smaller if you didn't need the full 4X, or if you really just needed a 3X sorter, then this is basically the same thing. Um, you could even just use a single speed sorter. I'll leave this, I'll leave both of these in, but again, I do not recommend this one at all. You will find that if you try this out, you'll find this does not work at all. This one does not keep up with full 4X. This is the configuration I would use 9.9 .9 times out of 10. One way you might actually be able to use this loader in a true three wide configuration is if you had some sort of batching system that slowed down the items and gave the hoppers a chance to really suck them up. I got this feed tape from a fairly new YouTuber called Borkin. Uh, I will link his video where he talks about handling lots and lots of items. Very useful video and he's got this feed tape in it as well. And you should also check out his channel. He's got a Let's Play and it seems like he likes having lots of fun and he's a really cool guy. You should definitely check his channel out. But this system right here that I've got here handles 
280,000 items per hour and it could definitely be expanded and if you wanted to expand it you might actually not want to have these gaps between the sorters you might want to actually just have all a whole bunch of double speed sorters here that feed down into the loaders down below or something like that but all this overhead just to save one block of space in most cases I recommend you use the four wide configuration but if you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of items something like this might actually be better and it might be fairly important to save that space so we discovered while i was making this tutorial that this build is actually somewhat directional if you build it in east west direction like i have here every time it cracks a shulker box it will spit one item up top of it if you build it in the east west direction it's one item for every 1728 so it, it's not a huge deal but it, it is a little bit of an annoyance and if you build it in the north south direction like we did a few times before this and so we never notice the issue then it actually works fine let me load this one up and so we've tried a bunch of things to try and fix this haven't figured anything out yet if we do find a fix in the future then i will make sure to post it but for now you may want to stick to building this in a north-south direction and then it doesn't happen or you might lose two tenths of one percent of your items it's it's a very small number but if you don't want to lose that you're, you're unfortunately going to have to build it in a north-south direction because you can see it it doesn't happen in this direction I'm, I'm not sure why all right so let's start actually building this thing so we'll start with the output down at the very bottom place a hopper pointing straight down into that and then another hopper pointing straight down into that one and then on the bottom hopper on the side of it place a block place blocks on both sides of it and then place two more blocks so we got a shape like pants and then place a temporary block here so you can come up a block like so and then come over two more blocks so you've got that kind of a shape and then place a comparator in this middle block here have it point into a solid block, place powered rails on the four blocks like so, and place redstone dust over on this side, and then place two blocks on the sides of this top hopper here, and then you want to place a block right there that's gonna be a temporary block, so you can come over on the sides, and then two more blocks like so. Remove that temporary block, place repeaters, pointing into these solid blocks right here, target blocks at the end of those repeaters, and redstone dust on the other two blocks. And like I said, if you're not actually gonna be tiling this, you don't need the target blocks, you can actually just place a solid block and redstone pointing into it. We'll use target blocks. And then next we're gonna place an observer pointing straight up on top of this first rail right here. And then right next to it, we're going to place an observer pointing straight down into the solid block there on both sides. And then where we've placed the ones pointing straight up, you can place a solid block. And on the ones pointing straight down, you're going to place a dropper facing in towards the middle. That's going to start a clock going. That's fairly normal. And then we're going to place a slab down on this hopper right here. And in between these two blocks, we're going to place a dispenser. And then we'll come on back here. And right next to these observers here, we're gonna place three solid blocks. We're gonna place a temporary block so that we can come up a block, place three more blocks like so. And if you place torches now, that will actually stop the clock, place torches on the end of these blocks. And then on these blocks, you're gonna place three comparators like so. Next, we're gonna place some hoppers pointing into these droppers and dispenser. So the dispenser, you can just place a hopper down on top of it. And then the droppers place hoppers down on top of that. But you'll also need ones pointing into the side. And put hoppers on top of those ones as well. And then you can put a chest up here. This is where you're actually going to put your empty shulker boxes. So you could do a double chest or however you wanted to configure that. I'm just going to put a single there chest there for now. We'll actually point it out this way. And then you can use that chest to place a piston, a sticky piston pointing straight down. And then put a slab on it like so. And then you're going to want a solid block over here and we can put a repeater on four ticks pointing into that just that piston there next we're going to make a little l shape underneath this block that we placed here we're going to just come down two blocks and then back one and then on this last block we're going to place a comparator in subtract mode 
and then on the side here it doesn't matter which side as long as you're consistent if you're tiling them and then we want to place one block and then come back two blocks like so place a cake here and then a comparator into redstone dust this cake can actually be anything that will output a signal strength of 14 so whatever you want to do cake just looks cool and then uh so what it's doing is it's comparing the signal strength of the shulker box to 14. This will only light up when the signal strength of the shulker box is 15, meaning it's completely full. And then we're going to place a solid block on the end of this comparator here, and then a piston pointing straight down, and a redstone block on the end of that piston. And then on top of this comparator here, we're going to place an observer pointing straight up, and then a solid block. And we're actually done with the loader here. That's all there is to it. As far as attaching a sorting system to this goes, I'm only going to show how to do the four wide configuration. If you want to use either of these two other configurations, they're very similar to this one. And you can just check the world download for reference. Or if you wanted to use this system over there, just download the world download. It's actually not as complex as it looks. It is kind of complex, but it's actually pretty simple when you break it all down. So what we want to do here is we want to place two more hoppers pointing straight down into those two hoppers. And then we'll place chests on top of that. And then we will place hoppers pointing straight down into the chest. And then hoppers on the side of the chest. Doesn't matter which side you choose. You could do it off to this side or you could do it off to that side. Doesn't really matter. And then hopper on top of that. And then we'll place a temporary block right here so that we can place blocks like so and then what we're going to do is place hoppers pointing into those blocks and then we're going to place the standard sorter configuration here which is three blocks in a row and come down a block and then temporary blocks so we can come over this way and then before we close this off let's place some repeaters right light right like that and then place solid blocks on the backs of the repeaters and then torches on the inside like so and then comparators on top right next to the hoppers there and then redstone on all the rest of this and there we go and then you want to place four more hoppers pointing straight into the comparators as you can see it's actually pointing into it and those are your, actually going to be your sorter comparators so you will put in the item you want to sort and then four more of any other item that's not going to go through your sorting system. I prefer renamed items just to make sure, but this will work for, for an example. Same thing on all four of these, like so. And then you would have an ice stream or something like that. Go like that. And then what you could do is you could place honey blocks on the end. So your water stream would come like so you'd have wa uh, glass to hold it all off water would hit this and then it would bounce off and it would run right against the edge of the hopper and on the rest of these you can put like glass panes along like so and that's how that's how it works with a sorting system and this will this with the four sorters here it should keep up with a very fast item stream and if you needed more of these you could just tile them on down in a row. So that's everything I have for this tutorial. There will be a world download and a Lightmatica template in the description. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now!